Charles Ustazua, a man sent by God. There is no man yet that has what it takes to help God. And every man's allocation is in his location. No man born by a woman is permitted to tell you sorry. I heard what happened. That is not your portion. Your portion is good news in the morning, good news in the afternoon. It never joins any man in the middle. If it's not your alpha, can I assure you, it will not be your omega. Things only work for workers. Nothing will ever work until you work. See a thou, a man diligent in his duties. He shall stand before kings and not ordinary people. John chapter 4 and verse 1. He said, come up, Tita. You can't stay where you are and connect with me. I am spirit. You are human. You need to be in the spirit to connect with me. He said, come up, Tita, and I will show thee things which must happen hereafter. In June 2010, I had a revelation. And I saw this place where we are worshiping now. Double warehouse, double warehouse. God showed it to me. And I alerted my driver. I said, last night, I was in the spirit, and I saw double warehouse. We were going around the ball looking for double warehouse because that was our domain until I got a call to come to Sapley Road. As soon as I walked in here, exactly what God showed me. I anoint your eyes to see divine visions. I anoint your ears to hear from the throne of God. He said, come up. Where you are, you can't get signal. There is no network in you. Where you are. No signal. There is no network. Come up. Come to where I am. I am a spirit. And the spirit such at all things. How can you? Rock of Ages member. Things will happen around you and you are taken unaware. No. You are a spirit. You are a spirit. This year, there is nothing that will happen in the physical. That God will not show you in the realm of the spirit. Joseph, one day, saw a vision about his future. And he was sharing it with his brothers. Because they were not spirits. Because they were operating in the flesh. Can I tell you something? I can be your age mate, but I'm not your spirit mate. You need to connect. So all of you that used to boast with your age. Do you know when I was born? I'm senior to you. You are old school. Nobody wants to know when you were born. It's what you can do that we are interested in. All these young, young boys of these days, young, young boys. The reason why young, young boys of these days are doing exploit because some of us have become spirits. We have become spirits. Say, I was in the spirit on the last day and I heard. He said, come up that I will show you things that will happen. Things that will happen. Romans 8 and verse 1. Let's work it fast. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. You see, that is where we make mistake. We stop in the first phrase and we don't go further. There is therefore no condemnation to them in Christ Jesus. No, you will, you will suffer. You will suffer if you don't understand scripture. What is the Bible? Who walk not after the flesh, but after the life of the spirit. Before you can be exempted from this law, you can't live like a natural man. That, you see, you have quoted many scriptures that didn't work. There is therefore no condemnation that they are in Christ Jesus and the witch still slap you. And you are wondering... Who walk, live, not after the flesh. What does the flesh like? Pleasure. What does
does the flesh like enjoyment? Now, there are some of you here, no matter what I preach, you will never fast, second to 13. You, will, you just want to close and run away. The chicken and the cake in your fridge and all the wine, you have arranged them. You have eaten so much that even in the dream you are eating. There's nothing I will preach. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You don't want to go the way of the spirit. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Let me, give you, let me tell you something that will interest you. Now, Jesus Christ is God. I'm not. For Jesus Christ to succeed in Luke chapter 4. The Bible says he was led into the wilderness by the Holy Ghost. Where he fasted for 40 days. What was he doing? Killing the flesh. Come on. Your flesh needs to be killed. It's not everything that your flesh needs that you give to it. Not everything. Your flesh wants pleasure. You know it. Your flesh is lazy. That is why Paul said, I bring my body. I bring my body under subjection. Lest after all these things, I myself will become what? A castaway. So bringing your flesh under subjection is a battle. Paul said, there are some things I want to do. I find myself doing the opposite. You are not, in, you are not a spirit until you conquer your flesh. Your flesh says on the 2nd of January, I want meat pie. You say no. I want chicken. No. Rest a bit. No. This 12 day school of the spirit fasting and prayer, I will not miss one day. The moment you take that decision, your flesh will start battling with you. Are you not, I don't know if it has happened to you before. Anytime I want to go on a long fast, the smell of the food changes. Because when you are fasting, you're, you perceive things faster. Ordinary onions become salad. The moment you make up your mind to fast, what they are cooking in Ring Road, you can perceive it in Uber. That is your flesh. Your flesh wants sex. Your flesh wants food. Your flesh is your enemy. That's what the Bible says. Your flesh is in enmity with the spirit. You just read, there is therefore no condemnation in the Christ Jesus. Yet nothing happened. Who walk not after the detail. Meaning in 2019, your flesh must not direct you. You must direct your flesh. Oh flesh, no. No fornication. Flesh, no, no food. I need 12 days of destiny to settle destiny. If 12 days is what you need out of a whole year to settle life, is worth it. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. That after the spirit, you don't see that one. You don't see it at all. You don't go there. Go to verse 6 of Romans chapter 8. And verse 6. For to be carnally minded is death. To live in the flesh is death. There is no two ways about it. To live in the flesh is death. I was watching documentary on television. I saw great evangelists, entrepreneurs, great destinies being brought back from Libya. Some of them ran mad. Some of them positive to HIV. Quite a number of them. To be carnally minded is death. And let me tell you something about death. The day Adam sinned, he died. There are many people right now. You greeted them before you came to church. You called them on phone. But you didn't know you talked to a dead man. 
There are many people dancing who are dead. To be carnally minded is dead. What happened to Adam in the garden of Eden? God made him a man and took the spirit. When Adam was in, in his exalted status, Adam didn't need to go to school while he was knowledge. Adam didn't need a doctor. Why? He's not created to be sick. Where are thou? I heard thy voice. I ran away. Why? Because I was naked. When you live in the flesh, you become naked. Hi, you are too quiet. You want me to prophesy you buy a car? Buy all these other. Those are elementary. This is the foundation. You can't be a spirit and be broke. You command wealth. Those who are very close to me will tell you. Whenever I want to do a project that requires huge money, I command it to come. From today, you will get money that <laughs> the same frequency of your church, the same frequency of your spirit. Now, can I tell you this? I'm not praying for you to build a house. That is too elementary. You need to build factory. You didn't connect with me. All this I built for flat. I have land in Namagba. Those are 1962. You need to start building companies, factories, where people can work. You have 5,000 people in your company. 10,000 people in your company. You, you know the problem with the church? We are not being taught. And we don't have the willpower to leave some frustrated pastor. <laughs> because no man can give you what he doesn't have. They are not being taught. From January to December, they are shouting fire. Fire, fire, shake head, fire for 12 months. And you want to continue. By the time this spirit enters you, huh? <laughs> can I show you something in the Bible? It's just that I don't have time. Romans 8, 6. To be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Verse 7. Because the carnal mind is an enmity with God, for it is not subject to the laws of God. Let's look at verse 10 and 11. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. 11. If, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwelt in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also... Now, now, when your physical body is quickened, you know what that means? You shake up disease. You shake up disappointment. You shake up failure. You shake up barrenness. By his spirit that dwells in you. If you read Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 1, Ezekiel chapter 2, and he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet. I will speak unto you. Look at verse 2. And the spirit entered into me when he speak. Can I tell you something? Will you hear this? Until you operate in the realm of the spirit, you are the same level with religious bodies. What makes you different is when you come up, step up like the Bible says. He that is above, according to scripture, is above all. Hello, spirit. Pastor Charles Osazwa is my name. The school of the spirit is a prayer meeting, is a praise meeting, is a worship meeting. When we are going to come together from every part of Benin, everyone join me 4 o'clock from 2nd of January. School of the spirit. You cannot afford to miss it. We have... Made buses available to convey men and women from everywhere across the city. This year is very unique. We're going to have Frank Edward leading the worship section, Eben leading the worship section. This is the first of his kind. These two great worship leaders will be with us for days just to steer up God's presence and bring down the glory of God while we pray for 2019 and set some things right in the realm of the spirit. Call the numbers on the screen. I look forward to seeing you. 
in 2019 school of the spirit god bless you do you know what we made the devil fear you it's not because you can pray many prayer warriors can parent many prayer warriors can send their kids to school so all those noise you are making rakata you saw what the drama is how they beat that guy up even with his noise what the devil respects in you is knowledge the moment you go home today lock up your door alone and say devil i am a spirit now that i'm a spirit let me warn you throughout 2019 stay clear from my life you know you know what he will do ah, this person has gained knowledge i am a spirit spirit cannot be sick spirit cannot have chest problem spirit cannot be barren spirit cannot eat in the dream spirit cannot be molested in the night now you can say it the first time they will still come the second day now it has to be consistent so mightily grew the word the word of god inside you must grow as you keep saying it every day it begins to take root the moment the word of god takes root in you you become a high flyer lift up your right hand up because you are a spirit i decree by the anointing of the holy ghost every force in your background every force around your life that is making mockery of prophecies if i hear your loudest amen that power is broken in the name of jesus yeah. when you say somebody is a great man of god this man is powerful what makes us powerful is what we know a few years ago i came in from germany i had a meeting in lagos i had another meeting by nine o'clock in benin crucial meeting i told my security man who came to receive me in lagos i said we are going to benin now he's all guy uh huh he's all guy look time it's 12 i said no spirits travel anytime as a spirit you are not bound by time you know what police told me? So I'm not going. Can I tell you something? When you want to take a destiny decision, offload those who don't believe your belief. Offload those who don't believe in your destination. I say, police, you know where to sleep. Go and sleep. Get down. We followed Ekbe. Dark places we were going. Then we got to Benin by 4 a.m. in the morning. When the police finally landed, he went to his office and reported. He said, change me. I can't work with that man. Science, can I tell you the truth? They really need to fear this God that you serve. You, you, you are too lukewarm. People need to really... You know, when people begin to talk of uh, 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 power, power, which power? God is power. You can't be a child of God and somebody is talking about power somewhere. In 2019, as the Lord God liveth, they will fear this God that you serve. Yeah. When everybody is saying amen, can I hear your own amen? Yeah. As I begin to close, Elijah said, if I be a man of God, according to my word, not according to God's word, there shall not be rain for three and a half years. Elijah locked the heaven and put the key inside his pocket and walked away. For three and a half years, no rain. They have to be looking for him to beg him. Legatu keprutu sekriti kalata kroto kopoto ye. Engado sekele moyetu kipra aklukurporisa. I stand in my apostolic office. In my priestly office. And I declare from today. Every devil tormenting your mother's children. As I hear your loudest statement. They are roasted to death now. <laughs> Do you know what the Bible says in Psalm 18.44? As soon as they hear of me. Psalm 18.44. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. I didn't write Bible. Now, they can only do this if you 
understand your identity. That you are not just somebody who comes to Rock of Ages, but you are a spirit. Psalm 82 and verse 5. He said, they know not. Neither do they understand. Because they don't understand these things that I'm teaching you. They walk on in darkness. All the foundation of the earth are out of course. Look at the next verse. I have said, you are spirits. That word God, convert it to spirit. All of you are the children of the most high God. But because you do not know, the next verse, it said they shall die like men. But you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. You are not supposed to die like men. Now, let me go and check. Before Abraham died, he knew. Yes, he knew. He knew. Before Isaac passed on, he knew. He said, well, I just want to transit. Call all his children. That is how spirits go. That is how spirits live. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, Nobody, sir. nothing takes you unaware. Take up the same thing. You must know. You know some things. I was driving home one day. The spirit told me reverse. I didn't ask questions. Some of you, even you, you argue with spirits. You, you argue. Okay, spirit, why should I reverse? Why? <laughs> some of you, you are too... <laughs> you start, why, why, why should I reverse? Give me reason, why should I reverse? You don't ask questions when you are a child of God. Then after some time, the voice says, go now. Listen, in all our viewing centers, all Rock of Ages branches, you are a spirit. You can't live anyhow in 2019. You are a spirit. And because you are a spirit, you have suspended natural laws. What the doctor told you, they are true, but they are natural laws. When you become a spirit, you suspend natural laws. I wish somebody can connect with me here. I was listening to a testimony. Of a woman whose womb was physically removed. Everything removed. She got pregnant and gave birth to a child. How did that happen? She's a spirit. When you become a spirit, you decide your life. You know what Paul said? I would have loved to depart, which is better for me. But for your sake, let me stay behind. I mean between and between. Whether to go, which is better. But let me just hang around for a little. That man has conquered death. You see that thing that is making you fear. I want to die. I want to die. You are living in the flesh. You are being natural. Spirits don't fear death. Who is blessed here today? All these elementary demons that are seeing useless vision. Useless vision that they have seen for you for three years that didn't help you. All the things they told you, no one came to pass. And you are still going. You are planning to go again in January. Can't you see? They told you we marry. In fact, nobody now. They told you we go abroad. They denied you visa. So, can't you stay with spirit and become spirit? And operate spiritually? Give him praise. In Acts chapter 1 and verse 4, you know what Jesus told Peter? He said, Peter, if you preach without being a spirit, you are dead. He said, Peter, wait until there is power from on high. Peter, don't go out to, you are too natural to preach. You are too carnal to speak my word. He said, go and stay in the upper room. Can I tell you something? Power don't just fall on you. You need to wait on him. All of you that are here, if you can give me the next 12 days of your life, your 2019 is settled. Cancel all your travels. All those human beings around you that are planning to travel tomorrow, just distance yourself from them. Please give me in all our branches, wherever they are watching me from, I need the next 12 days of your life. I want to get you pregnant with something. That by the time we are done on the 13th, you become another man. Jesus said to Peter, don't go out. Wait. If you don't wait, you waste. If you don't wait, you waste. He said, wait until you are in due with power. When 
the power come, when the spirit come, you will know. In Acts chapter 2, the Bible said they were on, in, in one accord in the upper room. And suddenly, when the spirit comes, it comes with announcement. Lift up your right hand up. In 2019, your destiny shall be announced. Yeah. You won't just live anyhow life. I say your arrival will be announced. Yeah. Your prosperity will be announced. Yeah. Your triplets will be announced. Yeah. Your factory will be announced. Yeah. Your breakthrough in China will be announced. Yeah. Your breakthrough in Dubai will be announced. Yeah. Your next level will be announced. Yeah. Your destiny will be announced. Yeah. Your new empire will be announced. If that is you, can I hear your loudest? Say amen. amen. Rise up on your feet. Wherever you are, can you wave at me? You want to give your life to Jesus. Please, you want, God bless you. God bless you. You want to surrender. You are the Savior of my soul, my Jesus. My Savior, you are the Savior of my soul. You are the Savior of my soul. You paid it that you did not owe. Lord, I give my life to you. Forgive my sin. Wash me with your blood. From today, I confess you as my Lord and my Savior, my Redeemer. Wash me with your blood. Forgive my sin. And write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' name. Lord, I present to you the fruit of today's service.